Okay, so I have the setup ready with create react app in the code pen and let me show you what exactly and how are we going to structure the components in react. So as you can see here, there are, we can do it in two ways. One is, let me full screen it. One is you can create two components, game component and game over component in the app.js. And the way which I have done is this, like I have a game over component on the top and have a game component after it. So if I have a game over, if there is a game over, it should directly display game over block and not the game. So let me, this will make more sense. If it's not making sense right now, it will make more sense when we get into the code. And let's get into the code. Let's see how it is right now. So the way what I'm talking is, at this point, we can create, let me make it bigger, const game over. And we are just initializing the state, set game over equals to react dot use state false initially it will be false like when you start there will be no game over so what happened is if there is a game over if game over what you need to do is you need to return a game over component so i'll just put it like game over Right now you won't see game over because we have set the game over to false but if I change it to true it should show you game over and not the get started. So this is what I'm talking about and here we will have game component which will display all the cards which will handle the transactions and in the app game we will keep track of total points what is the point and how it works like incrementing the points and decrementing the points and this game over component will just be responsible to reset the point and to just show uh, the UI that okay the points are zero and you cannot play anymore unless you reset it so let's create a game component here I will create const game game block and it will just return at this point I'll just have a basic block it will show okay just write a game in it and game and that's pretty much it for this one false I'll change it back to false okay we can see the game now I need to do some styling so what I do here is instead of just game I'll add div and we'll use materialize styling I expect that you are already aware of it if you are not but you can go to the documentation and take a look so what I do here is I make like two blocks one like two columns and first I need to initialize not initialize but add container to it do and this will be my container I will have game in the first column and this looks ugly but I'll prettify it and this will be my score block so edge to h2 and score okay so let me just put in this as a row class name row this will be class name container so it will give it, it a really good padding and when I want to add column I can do something like this class name call s6 so it will take like six spaces uh, out of 12 and here I will do the same thing six okay so these both are distributed 
like in six and six column like partition like it's half and half so we will do some styling for this one and we can have it as game outer box game outer box or something so let me add it and give it a style name style dot game block and I will even give this one do do and class name uh, style style dot score block okay so we don't have style at the moment so let's add style to it so game block will be okay we can just have basic border right now border 2px solid black and at this point we can have score To border the same one but we'll change the color pixel solid red okay so you'll have two blocks right here which are of different sizes because we have one is an h1 and one is an h2 one was an h2 now so this looks as we are expecting and now we will need to have card inside the game section and scores so first of all let me just do one thing let me have score points at this point so const mm, total points and set total points so I have the first one is the state and second one is the set state so this is how the new react is hooks is designed and the second one will help you set the state so dot use state and we will start always with 100 so we'll just have 100 and when we are in the score let us display the total points so okay great so now we see 100 points uh, it was right there total point oh, okay it's total point it should be points set total points and we'll change it to points okay so great this looks good so in the next video we will talk about we will work more on the game portion and the card flip and let's see how it goes so see you in the next video bye bye